Okay, in our video series on infectious medicine, in this video, we'll be talking about urinary tract infection in pregnancy. We'll discuss it, what is the presentation and what are the causes of UTI in pregnancy. We'll discuss it, how do you diagnose UTI in pregnancy and how do you treat it. UTI in pregnancy can present in two situations, whether there can be a symptomatic UTI or an asymptomatic UTI. A symptomatic UTI is the one in which the patient is having symptoms of urinary tract infection, dysuria, urgency, frequency, that patient must be treated. And if the patient is having asymptomatic UTI, asymptomatic UTI is the one in which you detect that presence of bacteria in the urinalysis sample, but the patient is not having any symptoms of UTI. Patient is not having dysuria, urgency, frequency, but there are bacteria present in the urine. In normal individuals, we do not treat that. But in pregnancy, that must be treated. Asymptomatic bacteria must be treated in pregnancy. Bacteria in urine with no symptoms in, is asymptomatic bacteria and it must be treated in pregnancy. If the patient is not pregnant, then it does not need to be treated. But if the patient is having pregnancy, this asymptomatic bacteria can progress to pyelonephritis, a full-blown UTI, and that can lead to complications to the fetus premature delivery. So these complications are prevented and therefore patients must be screened for asymptomatic bacteria in pregnancy and it must be treated. Asymptomatic bacteria is defined as presence of 100,000 colony forming unit of bacteria per ml of the urine with no signs and symptoms of UTI. Screening is recommended for all pregnant females in first trimester, as I said, because this asymptomatic bacteria can progress to a full-blown UTI, which can lead to complications. So it must be treated before it converts into a symptomatic UTI. Pregnant female must be treated because it can progress to pyelonephritis. Investigations done for the diagnosis of UTI in pregnancy include urinalysis in which you see the pus cells greater than or equal to 5 pus cells per high power field is diagnostic for UTI. In my video on urinary tract infection, I have talked about urinary tract infection in normal individuals in detail in my video on UTI treatment. You can check out the link in the description below. In that video, we discussed that if the patient is having complicated UTI, a UTI in pregnancy is a complicated UTI. And in complicated UTI, you perform urine culture before going there for the empiric therapy. Before giving treatment, you perform urine culture. So if the patient is having UTI in pregnancy, you take urine sample for urine culture, then you start antibiotic therapy. For the treatment of UTI in pregnancy, you must remember that these are the drugs that you have to avoid in pregnancy. You have to avoid fluoroquinolones because fluoroquinolones cause cartilage damage. You have to avoid trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole because they cause neural tube defects. Because trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole interfere with the folate metabolism, lack of folate to the fetus would lead to neural tube defects. And it is specially avoided in first trimester and past 32 weeks. First and the last part, it is specially avoided. Aminoglycosides are also avoided because they cause autotoxicity and nephrotoxicity. Now, coming to the treatment of UTI, we divide the treatment into lower urinary tract infection treatment and upper urinary tract infection treatment. Lower urinary tract infection is the infection of the bladder and the urethra, and the upper urinary tract involves the kidneys. So, if the patient is having lower urinary tract infection and asymptomatic bacteriuria, that patient must be given phosphomycin 3 gram per orally once. And you can also give beta-lactam antibiotics. In beta-lactam antibiotics, you have options like amoxicillin, clavulanic acid, 500 mg per orally BD, or you can give oral cephalosporin like cephopodoxine, 100 mg per orally BD. Other than that, you can give nitrofurantine 100 mg per orally BD. So you have all these options in which you can give the treatment, but nitrofurantine is to be avoided when the patient is close to delivery. Coming to the treatment of pyelonephritis in pregnancy, if the patient is having upper urinary tract infection, that patient must be hospitalized and IV treatment should be given. 
an iv treatment third generation cephalosporins for 7 to 10 days is given cefotaxime 1 to 2 g iv or im every 8 hourly can be given or cefotaxime 500 to 1000 mg iv or im pd or tds can be given or you have an option of giving cefepime 1 to 2 g iv every 8 to 12 hours if the patient is having severe infection or if the patient is severely immunocompromised patient that patient must be treated for 10 to 14 days within the hospital that patient can be given by parsilin tezobactam 3 to 375 g iv 6 hourly or you can give meropenem 1 g iv 8 hourly or you can give ticarcelin clavulanate 3.1 g iv 4 to 6 hourly so you have all these options if the patient is severe immunocompromised or if the patient is having severe urinary tract infection and you give this regimen for 10 to 14 days when the patient is hospitalized so you compare the difference in the timing if the patient is having severe infection you give 10 to 14 day treatment and if the patient is not having severe infection if the patient is immunocompetent you give it for 7 to 10 days and hospitalization is must in pyelonephritis in summary we talked about that uti can be either symptomatic or asymptomatic and asymptomatic bacteriuria must be treated in pregnancy what is asymptomatic bacteriuria and screening in first trimester females must be done investigations including urinalysis and urine cultures must be performed because the urinary tract infection in pregnancy is complicated the drugs that you need to avoid in pregnancy and the treatment of lower uti with phosphomycin or amoxicillin clavulanic acid treatment of pyelonephritis in pregnancy patient must be hospitalized these drugs can be given in patient when the patient is hospitalized if the patient is severe immunocompromised 10 to 14 days treatment with these drugs is given if you liked my video please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on infectious medicine i have talked about urinary tract infection in normal adults in detail in my video on uti you can check out the video in the link given in the description below thank you very much